Hello everyone, my name is Kumar Aditya and in this video I will show you how to create a high speed gate driver circuit using a few discrete component. So in one of my last video we saw this circuit. So this is a BJT push pull driver also known as totem pole driver. And one of the main issues with this gate driver circuit is that it cannot handle uh, PWM beyond a certain switching frequency. So right now I'm trying to generate a PWM of 250 kilohertz switching frequency. So I'm plotting this node voltage here. Okay. And I'm plotting, so this green one is the voltage at this node. And I'm plotting this node voltage in this second plot. And output of my gate driver in this top plot here. So we can observe two things. So I have overlapped this output stage with the input stage here. And you can observe that there is a time delay, right? And also rise time and fall time of the output uh, voltage is not symmetrical. So rise time is large compared to the fall time of this node voltage. And if you keep on increasing the switching frequency, this delay will keep on increasing and rise time will also keep on increasing. So there is a limit to the PWM frequency it can handle, right? And this is happening because if we observe the voltage at this node, that is the second node, this voltage itself is not symmetric. So voltage at this node is changing due to current sinking into this node through this one kilo ohm resistor. So whenever it's going from zero to 10 volt, current is flowing in this path. And whenever we are going from 10 to zero volt, current is flowing through this path, right? So there are two different paths for the source and sink current. And one of the path is slower compared to the other one. So BJT offer less resistance compared to this one kilo ohm resistor. And therefore, voltage at this node is not symmetrical. And that's what reflect into the output stage. So how to resolve this? So one way would be to make the current path symmetrical, right? So that voltage at this node becomes symmetrical and therefore voltage at this node will become symmetric. So we can do this by modifying this circuit a little bit. So let's see the second circuit. I modified this circuit here into this second circuit. So both are identical. I have the same component except for these two extra components. So let's see this circuit in detail. I will zoom on to it. So here you can see, let me plot the waveform here so that it makes more sense. So on the bottom, I'm plotting the microcontroller. In the second, I'm plotting this node. And the top, I will plot the output stage. And let's also have one plot comparing the output with the input. Okay. So now we can observe two things. First, that rise time is now fast compared to the previous design. So rise time and fall time are more symmetrical, right? And uh, but delay is still there. So let's see what is happening. So whenever I'm giving logic zero here, this VJT is off, right? And voltage at this node, sorry about that. So voltage at this node rise to 10 volt through this path. So this VJT will now turn on and voltage at this node can rise to 10 volt by current flowing through this VJT, right? So now the voltage at this node is changing because of the current going through this VJT instead of this one kilo ohm register, right? Similarly, when we are giving logic one here, this VJT is on. So this node is pulled to ground. So this diode turns on and voltage at this node can drop to zero because current can sink to the ground through this VJT. So now source and sink current have almost identical path except for this diode, which obviously offers less resistance compared to this one kilo. So therefore voltage at this node is symmetrical, right? And therefore voltage at this node is also very symmetrical. 
And if we compare the input stage with the output stage in this top block, we can see now we have quite a difference from the previous gate driver. So let me also plot the previous gate driver output so you can observe the difference. So we plot this node here and you can see the uh, in the previous design that the red plot we have a large rise time compared to now improved design but delay is still there. So issue of delay is still there. So how to eliminate this delay as well right. So we can do so by modifying the second circuit a little bit. So this is the second circuit and I have modified it by adding one capacitor here right. So I have included this 500 pico capacitor by passing this one kilo ohm list. Now what it does is it acts as a transient uh, uh, current supply to the base uh, current of this BJT. So now this BJT can turn on and turn off at much faster rate compared to this BJT even though they both are same but this IV is drawing current through this path right this base current but here the base current is coming through this capacitor so and capacitor can uh, uh, respond quickly compared to this uh, one kilo ohm resistor so this vjt will be faster so it will uh, change its state from on to off or off to on at much faster rate compared to this VJT and therefore we will be able to affect all the node voltages correspondingly and this gate driver will be faster. So let us observe the waveform. So here is the, in the bottom I have the microcontroller and the second plot I have the label shifter output and the final I have the main output right. So you can and uh, let's overlap the input and output to see the delay. I will delete this. Let's create this also. You see the delay is very less now, and also rise time and fall time are quite faster. So let's compare both gate driver stage. Here you see we have eliminated this delay. So uh, let me pick different color here. So green trace is the final design and green trace is the second design. You can see we have eliminated the delays. So we have less delay and also let's have the microcontroller. You can see right quite a difference. So this is the final gate driver. And we have eliminated the delay issue which was present in the original conventional postpool gate driver. And also we eliminated the uh, this uh, slow rise time problem. So now we can use this gate driver to handle up to 500 kilohertz of switching frequency. And you can even go higher if you have uh, some better BJT and diode here. So I have selected this uh, based on uh, uh, PWM of 500 kilohertz. So I can go up to up till 500 kilohertz. So if you manage to have uh, BJT which can respond uh, faster than that, then you can still go to a little bit higher switching. So I hope this is uh, useful to you and let's uh, see you in next video.